Hey guys, this is a follow-up to the hydrocarbons lecture you listened to yesterday. Uh, so we're still looking at hydrocarbons. Okay, hydrocarbons. But now we need to be naming them. Okay, I need you to be able to describe the different kinds of hydrocarbons. So the first thing we're going to look at is the number of carbons. So the first part of this, these names, okay, the first part of naming this kind of chemical is looking at the number of carbon number of carbons in the molecule so let's take uh, that very simple example we gave in the first part and I'll do this in blue so we have CH4 in this molecule remember that the subscript shows the number of atoms to the left of it so because there's no subscript here next to the C that means we have just one carbon and because we have a 4 here next to the H that means we have four H's around the outside and we use prefixes to show the numbers of carbons that there are and the prefix for one so we'll do a chart over here in red we'll do a different color so a chart over here for one carbon is meth and then we're gonna put an ending on it and I'll come to that in just a second so let me show you another example so we have C2H6 so now we have a two carbon chain and six hydrogens around the outside five six and the prefix for a two carbon chain so two carbons is eth e t h and then the suffix, and I'll give you the suffixes in just a second. And it goes on and on from there. So I'm just going to give you the prefixes for three carbon chains. It is prop, P-R-O-P, for a four carbon chain. We have but, okay, it's spelled but, but it's spelled but, or it's pronounced but. And then for five, we get into pent, and from here on out, they follow your geometry prefixes. So six is hex, seven, uh, I'm trying to think, is hept, seven is hept, eight is oct, O-C-T, nine is known, and 10 is dec, D-E-C. So we've got 10 different prefixes here based on the number of carbons in that molecule, okay? Uh, so if we're looking at, let's see, we've got a one, two, three, four, five carbon chain, and then this is filled with hydrogen, so I'm not gonna take the time to draw them all in. Okay, but we know it's a hydrocarbon because we have only hydrogen and carbon, and I've got a one, two, three, four, five carbon chain, so I'm looking at a pent right here. Okay, so please make sure you have this copied down into your notes. These are the prefixes. Okay, these are the first part of the name. The second part of the name is based on the type of bond. Okay, so we're still looking at hydrocarbons. All right, and the suffixes are the second part of the name are the types of bonds. And there's three different things we can have. We can have, first of all, all single, all single bonds. We could have at least one double bond. Or we could have at least one triple bond. So let's take a look at these all single bonds first. So these first uh, examples I drew right here, notice that I only have one line in between the carbon and the hydrogens on all of these. Those are single bonds. We have one single bond between the two carbons. Single bond molecules, all single bonds, are ended with the suffix A-N-E, ane, okay? Uh, and so what we have then, so let's do a one, two, I'll fill in H, so C3, H8, and remember these are all forms of polymers, we have repeating units of monomers, 
So I've got C3H8, all single bonds, so it's going to be a something ane. So let's look back here, a three carbon bond, or a three carbon chain right here is going to be a prop, and because we have all single bonds, we end with ane. So this is called propane. And this is what gas grills run off of. You have propane tanks at home. You've seen this. You've used it. Okay. So the first part comes from the number of carbons. The second part is depending on the bond. The double bonds change the suffix a little bit. These are called enes. E N E. Okay. And if I change this, so if I wanted to change this bond right here, we'll keep the prop. We'll do a three carbon chain. If I want to put a double bond in between these carbons. I also change the number of hydrogens that I have available to add. Remember, carbon can only have four bonds on it. So I've got one, two hydrogens. So I've got one, two, three, four. This carbon already has three bonds, one, two, three. So this one only gets one hydrogen. And then this one only has one. So I get one, two, three more. Okay. We still have a three carbon chain. All right. So it's still the prop prefix. But instead of the ane ending, this is called propene. Move my window over a little bit. Okay, this is called propene. And the ene tells me that I have at least one double bond. If I had two double bonds here, remember hydrogens would change, but it would still be an ene uh, propene molecule. And then third, we could have a triple bond, and that's just like the double bonds, except this one is called an ene, Y-N-E. So we'll keep the, the propine, or we'll keep the prop prefix, so looking at three different carbons. Okay, again, we can only have four bonds total, so carbon can only have four bonds. Okay, that's extremely important to remember. So this carbon on the left, this first one, has one, two, three. I can add one more. H. This one in the middle, I've got one, two, three, four, so I cannot add anything here. And then this one on the outside still only has three. All right, so we still have the prop prefix, but now we have the alkyne ending. So this is pro -ine, propine. All right, so the bonding naming is pretty easy, so the, you need to pay attention to what kind of bonds you have. Do I have single, double, or triple? And then how many carbons do I have? Okay, just to review, the carbons, the number of carbons give you the prefix here. The types of bonds give you the suffix, okay, the ane, ene, or ine. Uh, I'm going to give you a couple examples just to try. And here is a six carbon with a double bond. I would like you to take a minute to name all of these and then when you get this done let me know and I'll come around and check.